If you're looking to learn more about cloud compute, either to advance your career or change your career to a high paying, high demand field, then there are many places to start. One place to consider is through earning credentials. And one option is the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals certification, the AZ 900, which is earned after paying a fee and then taking an exam. And as with any exam, there's a little bit of prep involved. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you an easy and engaging way to help prepare for this exam through a newly offered set of courses offered by Microsoft through the Coursera platform. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here. If you're new to the channel, what it's all about is helping you with career development and personal finance. So if you want to advance your career or grow your income, then consider subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new content. So with that said, let's get to it. As an avid user of Coursera, I get recommendations on courses all the time, but one of the more intriguing ones that popped up more recently was for the Microsoft Azure specialization. And when they say specialization, it's really a set of courses designed to educate on a subject. I've included a link down below in the description so you can go and explore that. But really what you're getting out of the specialization are four courses that take you from start to finish from understanding the fundamentals of cloud compute. So you don't have to be a cloud expert by any means to understand Microsoft Azure. It takes you from the fundamentals of cloud compute to explaining what Microsoft Azure and the suite of services and products they offer. And the idea is if you pass all four of these courses, you of course get the specialization from Coursera, but it's designed to help you prep for the AZ-900 certification exam. The courses are as follows. We've got Introduction to Microsoft Azure Cloud Services, Microsoft Azure Management Tools and Security Solutions, Microsoft Azure services and life cycles, and lastly, preparing for the AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. As far as time commitment goes, what's recommended or suggested by Coursera is that it takes you no longer than five months, assuming you dedicate two hours a week to going through all the course content, completing the exercise, and completing the quizzes and, and exams in the Coursera courses. And this is all at a cost of $49 a month. That said, like any other specialization that you can take through Coursera, you can actually complete these courses in a much shorter amount of time. It really depends on how much time you have in your schedule to go about and completing these courses. Obviously, if you're able to complete the courses sooner than those five months, if you can complete it in three months, then you're paying for three months worth of that subscription. So to the extent that you can, it would make financial sense if you can find a good time in your schedule or at least in your, you know, whatever you got going on in life, look at your year and see if there's a good window of opportunity for you to take these courses and get them done. Now I did a brief audit of all of these courses and I wanna share with you some highlights from that that I think make these courses really effective. First is they start off with the fundamentals. Now this is critical, especially for anyone coming into this without any cloud compute experience or familiarity whatsoever. So they really start from scratch before going into everything that Microsoft Azure has to offer. That said, you do, however, need to be vaguely familiar with some compute terms like processor, processing power, storage, network, uh, networking rather, security. But by no means do you need to be experts with, with any of that. And like I always advise, if you're taking some of these courses and there are terms that aren't fully explained, simply Google them. I, I do that all the time. Google is my friend when it comes to certain terms that I, I'm not familiar with. So it helps out quite a bit as I'm going through some of these courses. Again, this one I think does a really good job of explaining all of this stuff up front. Second is hands-on projects. So what is really valuable here is that instead of just receiving the information and maybe 
doing some quizzes and answering some multiple choice questions. You really get hands-on experience with Microsoft Azure. And in my view, unless you take the knowledge and apply it, you're not gonna be as well-versed in a subject as you could be if you had. So you've got a lot of exercises that help you take what you learn, apply it, and once you do that, you have a much better chance of absorbing the material because after all, you're gonna be prepping for an exam and you want to understand the content as well as you can. And in the course, they actually have you create a Microsoft Azure account and what happens is you get access to an Azure sandbox. That is to say, a controlled environment where you can explore, learn, and practice or put into implementation or apply what you've learned and use the suite of cloud offerings that Azure has to offer. Third is it focuses on exam prep. So that's the last module or the last course in the specialization. And it's a relatively shorter one. It really is just covering some of the key or at least highlighting the core concepts that you learned in the other three courses. And then it also gives you some practice exam questions. And last highlight here is that Whenever you complete the specialization, you actually get a 50% discount on the exam fee. And I believe the exam fee is around $99. So you effectively cut that in half if you do all these courses and you complete the specialization. Now, one more thing I'll say about the specialization is that even if you're not looking to advance or change your careers, in my opinion, it's still a really good technology to understand. It's so prevalent in the IT world, or it's, at least it's prevalent in the IT infrastructure that many companies around the world uses. So if you're in the tech space, this is just good general knowledge to have. Even if you're not looking to take the AZ900 certification, you can just take these courses and be done with it just so you have the knowledge. Or better yet, you can actually audit the courses and take a look at all the content for free. I believe you don't get access to some of the exam questions or practice exam questions rather or quizzes. I think some of that content is locked, but you do get access to some of the content if you are curious about learning about cloud compute. Folks, hope this helps and I also hope that this is new information for you so that you can take advantage of the educational content that's out there to help you add more value to the organization that you're at advance your career and be more competitive in the job market. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a job in cloud compute and what your experience has been thus far and what kind of opportunities from your vantage point you see in the market. I think it'd be very helpful for my audience as they watch this video and they're exploring career opportunities for them to get some different perspectives. So again, leave a comment down below. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you around.